Hey, this is CMD Channel. I'm Chris. This is MMA for you. Uh, I'm going to be doing my prediction to Bellator 80, which happens uh, November 9th on MTV2. As far as the card goes, uh, you know, I'm not totally feeling this card. Um, Brett Cooper's kind of getting a gimme fight. Heavyweight fight's interesting. I'm really interested in Volkov. Uh, Fabiano versus Martinez is interesting stylistically. Uh, Joe Warren, that's kind of like a gimme. Hopefully a gimme for Warren. Undercard, a couple prospects here and there. Taylor Crawl, 20 years old. Cosmo Alexander rematches Josh uh, Cohagan. Cristiano Souza is on the undercard. Um, so, I mean, it, it's not... You know, it, it's not the worst card, but, you know, I, I've definitely seen better. Um, I'm not going to say I'm not going to watch it, because I am. <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, Owen Avenger fights Joe Warren. Um, both these guys have the same record, seven wins and three losses, whereas Avenger has uh, four submission victories and three decision victories. He also lost three times by sub and is on a two-fight losing streak. So, I see it's kind of similar to Warren in that he's also on a two-fight losing streak. Getting knocked out by Alexis Vila and, um, and Pat Curran. And that was one of the beatdowns of the year. <laughs> so, um, you know, with Warren, he has two wins by Karatika and uh, five wins by Decision. Um, two of his losses are by Karatika and they're pretty brutal. Uh, he trains at Team Quest. He's got that Grecan Roman wrestling background. Really aggressive guy. Pushes forward. High pressure. Terrible defense. Brawling style stand up. And that's the thing with, with Joe Warren. I mean, this guy gets hit clean so much. You know, Pitbull, Pat Curran, um, Joe Soto, um, Lexus Vila. You know, just like. This guy just keep, you know, his defense sucks. He says he's working on his defense. Cause he really does need to work on it. It is just bad. Um, otherwise, uh, I still got Joe Warren winning this one. Superior wrestling and his aggression and his go forward mentality. I think we'll get him to win here. Okay, next one after that. Really tough one for me to call is Wagney Fabiano fights Rad Martinez. Uh, you know, I called Rad Martinez beat uh, Maligari. And, and he did. You know, he has a 13-2 record, six wins by Karatiko, seven wins by decision. He's only 25, and a four-fight win streak. Trains at Big Three MMA. His wrestling's really good. Uh, Stand-up's really improving, but his cardio wasn't there against Malagari. Um, and the last Bellator that Fabiano fought, I, I picked against him to lose to uh, A Cop. I think is his name, A Cop, something really like that. Um, and then Fabiano won. <laughs> Um, Fabiano trains at 37, trains at Novo now, he's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, his stand up is improving, well, of course his strength is on the ground, um, I think the experience, with the experience factor of Fabiano, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Wagner Fabiano to win this one, uh, mainly for the experience factor, stylistically it's actually... I would, in a way, actually say it favors Rad Martinez. I don't know if Fabiano can take Martinez down, but I think Martinez can take Fabio down, or Fabiano down. And the standout from what I've seen, Fabiano's not like, he's not, um, it's not like it's non-existent stand-up. It's actually improving. I think Rad might have the better stand-up, and, and I think he hits harder. So, it, it in a sense, I think actually the cardio though definitely works against Martinez, but and even stylistically, it kind of favors uh, Martinez in a sense. In the sense that like Fabiano's strength being like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I don't know how he's gonna get it down to the ground unless Martinez takes it there. So you know, it's not the best stylistic matchup, but I think the experience factor, the cardio. Um, I go with Wagner Fabiano to win this one. <laughs> okay, next right after that, we have Alexander Volkov versus Vinicius Queiroz. Uh, Vinicius has a 6-2 record. Six of those ones are by K or Tico. One, I say 6-2? Oh, my bad. 
Um, it, it should be like a seven and two record actually. His six ones by KRT Cal, one one by Sub, and he trains out of shoot the box. Um, he, he almost lost against Mark Halata in his last fight until he got that arm bar. Um, stand up's good. He has that shoot the box mentality. But with Volkov, 17 3 record, 13 wins by KRT Cal, one win by Sub. He's only 24 and an 8 fight win streak. Um, training at a Rust Fighter Sports Club with like Alexander Shomenko, um, uh, Koreshkov, Chainsaw as well. And that team. Definitely coming up. Uh, if you want, watch his last fight against Brett Rogers. Kid's really tall, and lanky. He uses good movement and a lot of combinations in his stand up. He's definitely a primary stand up guy. And I really liked what I saw from him. He's going to be the, I think he'll be the more technical striker here. And I'm going to go with Alexander Volkov to win this one. Definitely someone I'm actually going to keep an eye out for. And actually, a lot of these Russian, fi um, you know, these Russian Eastern European fighters that Pelotor picked up, definitely like Shemalayev, even Sornovsky who lost against Kalmenti, Kurishkov. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out, eye out for these guys. They're definitely, um, I think Bellator may have uh, picked up some pretty good prospects, to be honest, um, out of there. Okay, next fight after that, and the final fight of the main card. Daryl Cobb fights Brett Cooper. <laughs> uh, Daryl Cobb's on a four-fight losing streak with all four, you know, uh, all four of his losses by submission. Cobb has a five and five record, two wins by KRT, three wins by decision. With Cooper, he has a sixteen-seven record, eleven wins by KRT, two wins by sub. He's twenty-five. He's on a three-fight win streak. Trains at uh, Kings MMA. I've seen that guy go to war against guys like um, Shomenko. Steve Carl and others. It's definitely kind of a brawler style with a really good chin. Great cardio. This guy can push forward and he's really aggressive. Got to go with Brett Cooper to win this one. And honestly, seeing Cobb's what record. Um, the only time I saw Cobb fight too was against uh, the arm collector, Jeeva Santana, and he got arm barred. You know, um, it just kind of looks like. He's kind of a gimme one for Brett Cooper, to be perfectly honest with you. Down to the prelims. Brennan Gertz fights uh, Mike Quinez. To be honest, I don't know much about these guys. Brandon, 7-2 record, 5 wins by sub, 2 wins by decision, 27 years old. With Mike, 3-0 undefeated record, 2 wins by KO, TKO, or 2 wins by TKO, 1 decision, also 27 years old. Total pick em fight. Don't know anything about these guys, so I'll go with uh, Mike Quinez to win that one. Next fight after that, after that Cristiano Souza fights Robert Otani. Otani has a 3 and 2 record with one draw. All three of his wins are by K or TKO, and all two of his losses are by sub. Souza, 5 and 0 undefeated record, 2 wins by K or TKO, 2 wins by sub, and he trains on American Top Team. I'll go with Cristiano Souza to win this one. And next fight after that, we had the rematch as Cosmo Alexander fights Josh Quahagan. Interesting fight here. Quahagan, since then, because they, they were each other's first pro MMA fight. Quahagan, since then, is now 6-0 and undefeated. Three wins by KO Tico and three wins by decision. 26 years old. You know, she had some pretty solid stand-up uh, against... I, I think he's get, been getting, like, punch KOs. And even like a head kick KO, you know, his stand is pretty solid. Um, of course, the Cosmo Alexander trains at Black Zillion, with the Black Zillions. He's a world kickboxing champion. 4 and 1 record since uh, his loss to uh, uh, Kohagan. Three of those wins are by KR Tika and one win by decision. He's on a four fight win streak. Didn't realize how tall he is, dude. He's actually pretty tall for the weight class. Uh, I'm going to go with Cosmo uh, this time around. I picked him the first time and he lost, and I'm picking him, uh, picking him again in the rematch here. So Cosmo Alexander. Um, next about that, Sky Musil Chick uh, fights Shannon Slack. Uh, Sky is two and zero record, one win by uh, TKO, one win by sub. He's 34. Or Slack trains at uh, Rain MMA. 4-1 record, 2 wins by KO and 2 wins by decision. It's 29. 
Let's go with Shannon Slack to win this one. Next out of that, um, Mike Bernhard fights Joe Vedevo. So it's kind of tough for me to call because I mean, most of the times when I see these two fight, um, I'm seeing like Mike Bernhard fight like Mikey Gomez and XFC and some other um, organizations as well. Vedevo, I remember him getting a head kick by Alessio Sakara and the UFC and he lost to like Rob Kimmons I think afterwards by submission. So, you know, these both these guys are just kind of like, you know, they should be fighting each other, but, like, it, it's hard for me to call because, like, what I've seen from these guys, I generally see them losing. <laughs> so that's, that's the thing that's really bad. Uh, Bernhard, 9-4 record, six of those wins by KO TKO, one win by sub. He has three losses, but three of his losses are by submission. He's 27 on a two-fight losing streak, whereas Joe Vedipo. He's actually fought as high as heavyweight as well, and middle. He goes from like middleweight to heavyweight. It's thirteen and five record, five wins by KO Tico, six wins by sub. Uh, tough for me to call. I'll go with Joe Vedipo to win this one. And finally, Ryan DeRocher fights uh, Taylor Crawl. Um, Ryan has a th three wins and four losses. One win by TKO, one win by sub. All four losses are by submission. With Taylor Crawl, he has a three and one record, and all three of his wins are by submission, and he's only 20 years old. God go t Taylor Crawl to win this one. So that's pretty much it for my uh, predictions for Bellator 80. If you have any comments, just leave them below. And that's it for MMA for you. Thank you guys very much.